Hey, what's up guys? I recently picked up this sweet 2017 Ford GT and I was thinking it would be cool to see if I could figure out how fast I could scan it and get a, you know, a reasonable scan out of it, you know, like something you might have in the background of your shot. Uh, I put some tape on the wheels and so to try and keep them from moving around during the scans and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some of my trusty dry shampoo and uh, spray it all over the black areas and then I thought that I would try and clean off the the shampoo from the areas where I don't want it like on this nice white and the blue stripes uh, I thought that would work out pretty well so let's give it a shot and see how fast we can do it Okay, so here we are with the scanner set up and in the software. And we're going to start a new project. Oh, and here's uh, my little test project here. We'll just save over that. And we're going to do a texture scan. And apply. And there we go. And we can see it on there. And so to speed things up, I set the HDR on. That helps uh, with the, getting the color. I turn on the turntable. And I've since the car is small enough, it barely covers over any of these targets. So I'm going to use the coded targets that help to speed things up. Okay, well, do not block the turntable coded targets. Okay. So, uh, let's adjust our brightness here, and we'll start our first scan. I'm hoping the wheels are not going to move, but let's see how fast we can get this done. I'm only using six steps for the turntable instead of eight, so that should speed things up a little bit. The HDR does seem to slow down each uh, step a little bit, but not too much. I think it'll just save time by saving work later on. Now having to clean up this blue if we sprayed stuff all over it. I almost forgot to start my stopwatch and <laughs> to see how long this takes. Okay, I'm ready to get rid of this extra junk. Let's zoom in a little bit. Look at it from the side, and we can quickly get it all in one big go. Okay. That's almost the whole car right there. One thing that's going to be pretty tough is that it has these openings that go underneath of here and shoot through the back in here, and then even harder all the way back here. So let's click here. And I'll rotate my model around. Trying not to touch the areas that have the spray on them. Okay, and we'll continue the scan. It's getting the bottom pretty nicely. Unfortunately, it is getting the tape as well, but I think that's the only thing I can do to keep the wheels from turning around. Okay, let's uh, quickly get rid of this extra junk. Trash can. Click here. 
There we got almost a whole car right there. Okay, let's uh, flip it over again. Start scan. See, the car is swiveling around a little bit. I forgot to put something down there to hold it still. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Let's zoom in and see. Yeah, it looks like it came out all right, even though it was rotating around a little, sliding. Okay, Let's zoom out and get rid of this extra junk. That is looking pretty good. Let's just get one last side. Let's see. Let me this side facing down. Okay, and we'll start the next scan. Alright, looks pretty good. Get rid of the junk, just uh, holding shift and dragging around on the trash can. And click here. And that looks pretty good. Need to get a little bit on the back and the front. So what I've got is a little box here that's black. And uh, I can use that to prop it up. That box came from my business cards, actually. I've still got some in there, even. Okay. Okay, we are propped up. And hopefully that'll be facing the scanner a little bit better. Let's start a scan. This one may not work so well because I can see the black box is covering up some of the targets. So I'm hoping that it comes out alright. If it doesn't, we can just switch over to feature mode and it'll be fine. Okay, let's delete the extra junk, including the little bit of the box that scanned. I had to look all over to find a small enough bl black box that would not get picked up by the scanner too much. Of course you can use anything, but it would be it's a lot easier if you have less stuff you have to clean up. Okay, let's flip it around. at the back of it. Some spaces in there. Hopefully that'll help to fill in some of this uh, interior area in here. I gotta say, this scanner really does look amazing, after, even after just one step. And even though this is just a point cloud, 
And when you back out, it looks almost like a completely finished model. Okay, that should be it. Let's zoom in a little. Get rid of this junk. Get rid of some of this box junk. Delete. Zoom in a little bit to make it a little easier to grab this box stuff. Okay, click here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to call that done with scanning. Let's uh, make a mesh out of it and see what it does. Just gonna get a little bit of this extra stuff on the wheels. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a mesh out of it. Like we'll make it watertight and say medium detail that shouldn't take too long okay there we go we got our model look, looking pretty good okay let's apply some textures so it did fill in this area in there but from a distance you probably wouldn't see it We did get this area of uh, nice hole in there, a little gap. A little bit of a hole. <laughs> Maybe you might be able to clean it up with some sculpting software if you really needed to. And of course it did not get anything inside the windows. And so there we go. There is our finished scan, ready to be retopologized. And you might want to paint on the windows a little bit to get rid of some of that frostiness, as well as uh, maybe paint the bottom a little more black. Maybe get rid of some of this tape if you really need to, but you're probably not going to see too much of that if this uh, car is going to be seen from the distance in your shot. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Just a few touch-ups, and it'll be good to go. And according to my stopwatch here, this took just under 20 minutes to get a full scan. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. I'll leave some Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you want to check this product out yourself, the scanner and the turntable. And yeah, please uh, like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment below. And uh, I'll see you next time.